Now, overnight, an Amber Alert was issued for her disappearance, and the search remains active. So her name is Brasia Terrell. Now, Brasia was first reported missing on Friday, July 10th. Investigators believe 47-year-old Henry Earl Dinkins kidnapped Terrell. Now, Dinkins is the father of Brasia's brother. He is currently in the Scott County Jail on charges related to a sex offender registry violation. But Brasia is still missing. So Dinkins has not yet been formally charged in the disappearance of Brasia. So the police joined by Brigia's family want the public's help on identifying his whereabouts from Thursday night through Friday afternoon, hoping that might help them locate the little girl. They presented these photos of some of his vehicles. If you have any information about Dinkins or these vehicles, you're asked to please call 911 immediately. Briege's mother, Aisha Lankford, spoke to our sister station at WQAD about her daughter and said she is a budding TikTok entertainer and a great older sister to her eight year old brother, Dotorius. I'm a savage. She's always like, Mom, Mom, this TikTok, you should do this TikTok, Mom, you should do this TikTok. What's she like? She has the most biggest personality ever. I mean, any kid, I mean, any parent would want. You know, she helps, you know, she's a very good big sister. So pay attention to these details. Brasia is four foot five, weighing 75 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing an oversized white t-shirt, shorts, as well as pink or white or flip flops. So anyone with information on where the child is should call the Davenport Police Department or again, 911. Now many viewers are asking the question, why did it take four days for an Amber Alert to get issued for Briasia? Well, here's why. There are certain requirements that must be met in the state of Iowa before an Amber Alert can be sent out. One, law enforcement must confirm that a child has been abducted and entry has been made into the Iowa database that the child is missing. The child must be under 18 years old. Next, law enforcement must believe that the child is at serious risk, such as bodily harm or death. And finally, there must be enough descriptive information available about the child, the abductor or the suspect's vehicle.